Okay, so in this tutorial, I would like to explain what the maximum interval is. So if you have a deck here, if you click the gear icon next to it, and then you click options, you can find in the uh, reviews tab, the maximum interval. So by default in Anki, the maximum interval is 36,500 days. So that's of course extremely long, but if you have some reason for setting a maximum interval that would realistically be hit at some point, then you can change it. So for instance, let's say you put 90. So 90 would be very low. What that means is once any card ends up having an interval of 90 days or above, it just ends up being shown to you every 90 days. So what an interval is, is the um, amount of time between a review for a given card. So if you get a card, if a card shows up in your reviews and you haven't seen it um, in a month, then the interval was a month. And Anki will then multiply that interval by a certain number um, depending on some other settings and the new number will be how long until you see it next. So let's say you see a card that you haven't seen for a month and then Anki multiplies it by 2.5 because you got it correct and then you see it in two and a half months. And if you multiply that by 2.5, so two and a half months later, if you see the card again, then it gets multiplied by 2.5 again, and that would be well over 90 days um, for the new interval. But if you have it set as 90 days here, then no matter what, every single card, um, no matter how long the interval becomes in the system, you'll still see it every 90 days. So... Um, it depends on what you're studying, but some things it might be useful to do this. So let's say um, you put your maximum interval as 365 days. What that would mean is, of course, every card in your deck, you'd never see it less than once a year. So if you're studying a certain topic where your memories are pretty stable as they grow to about a year, but then if you haven't seen a card for about a year um, or more, like two years, let's say, you're likely to forget it. If it's So, of course, there are a lot of topics that you can study in Anki, and it's going to depend a lot depending... It's going to depend a lot on the topic that you're studying and how you're studying it um, with this sort of thing. Like whether... Um, like what the maximum interval should be, whether you should put it low like this or just leave it very high like comically high like this basically where you'll never it's never gonna hit it but um, if there's some kind of thing that you're studying where if you haven't seen a card for like two or three years you're probably gonna have forgotten it um, but you'll pretty much remember the cards for like a year or so um, then it would be good to put it put it um, you know at this so an example would be um, if you study Japanese or Chinese then you'll study the, the characters um, that they use. And let's say that you're studying how to produce those characters. So you're studying how to be able to write Chinese characters for Japanese or Chinese. Um, and so natives will remember how to write characters because they frequently actually write the characters by hand, um, or at least much more frequently than than um, most people who are learning it as a foreign language um, because of computers and other technology and stuff like that. But um, anyway, the point is, uh, a lot of people find that when you study Chinese characters, you will remember how to write them from memory for a certain amount of time, but if your cards get like two, three years with their intervals, you'll start kind of forgetting after a while. Um, unless you actually practice writing by hand on a regular basis. But if you want to retain those memories without, um, without writing by hand on a regular basis, you just want it ready for you at, at certain times where you might have to um, write something, then um, it can be useful to study those characters in Anki and set the maximum interval to be something like 365 days. So 
you will um, just always remember them and it, it won't be this thing where your memories get unstable at the two or three year mark and you start forgetting. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's a long explanation of, or just an example, but the basic, the basic idea, it's going to depend upon what you're studying, whether um, this is relevant at all. For a lot of things, it won't be relevant. Um, but yeah, if there is some reason to change it, it's useful to know that this thing exists um, because there might be some creative purposes for setting it lower. Um, I think there are a lot of purposes for setting it at um, a year or so. And, uh, but yeah, anyway, that's it for now. That's what uh, the maximum interval function does and how to change it.